It's an absolute disgrace. Well, 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 well. This is why we love the Premier League. The Premier League is the best league in the world by far because of results like today. Football is not scripted, especially in the Premier League. Some other leagues, it's only one or two teams dominating for decades. In the Premier League, you can beat anybody on any given day. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Oaks, your own brother. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. If you want to encourage the channel, take one second or only to help me out and God will bless you. Much, much appreciate it. This video is about my match review and reaction for all the games on Saturday. But we're going to focus on one game. Bournemouth against Arsenal. So I'm going to go very quickly and remind you what happened on Saturday. Tottenham Hotspurs 4, West Ham 1. This is a big win, a big London derby. Fulham lost at home against Aston Villa 3-1. Manchester United won at home against Brentford 2-1. Newcastle United lost at home against Brighton, 1-0. Southampton lost at home against Leicester City, 3-2. And they were leading 2-0. Uh, so somebody is going to get sacked. Let me know in the comment section down below what manager is going to get sacked first. I think the Southampton manager is at risk. And also Western manager is at risk. Ten Hag from Manchester United, still so-so. And we don't even know what is going to happen to Eddie Howe and also the Ipswich Town manager. So somebody is going to get sacked very, very soon. And I don't know, by the time you watch this, this video, it could be announced. Ipswich lost at home against Everton, 2-0. And Bournemouth beat Arsenal of old people 2-0 and we're going to give you more details in the end of this video. And let me remind you very quickly that there are three games that need to be played and we have time to talk about it. Anyways, my people, let's now get to the nitty gritty of this game because this is the most important game of the day. You can also say the Manchester United game was important, but Eric Ten Hag won. So he bought himself a few weeks in the job. So we're going to focus on this game because nobody gave a chance to Bournemouth to beat Arsenal. I still remember when Chelsea struggled against Bournemouth and Arsenal fans were laughing as if they were going to destroy Bournemouth and Chelsea are just an average team. Details. Clivert, Justin Clivert, who is the son of the legend himself, Patrick Clivert, he scored a penalty and he was voted man of the match against Arsenal. Arsenal got a red card in the 30th minute, but nobody to blame but themselves. Because we all know that Saliba is apparently the Mbappe of centre-backs, the Rolls-Royce of football. But today, that was stupid to get the red card and leave your team vulnerable at the back so they played for a long period of time 10 against 11 and that is not an excuse because i've seen arsenal winning games 10 against 11 and also defending for their lives 10 against 11 today it didn't happen and nobody to blame but arsenal themselves it's an absolute disgrace
Moving on, let me give you some more details. So Christie scored 70, 70th minute, 7-0. And Patrick, yeah, why I always call him Patrick Kluvert? Justin Kluvert, 79th minute, a clear penalty. And it was 2-0. But you know what? Until this time where they conceded a penalty, Somehow, I was keep on believing in Arsenal. I said Arsenal will still get a result. A draw, or they could just nick a goal and go to get all three points. I don't know where my confidence was coming from, but today it didn't happen for the almighty Arsenal. And if you look at the, the starting eleven here, you might say Saka wasn't there. Odegaard wasn't there. Martinelli wasn't there. But this is Arsenal we're talking about here, right? You might tell me by head, every single Arsenal player in the starting 11 and on their bench. If I ask you the same question about Bournemouth, you might not be able even to tell me from your head, on top of your head, five players that play for Bournemouth. That tells you exactly what you want to know. Arsenal a top, top class uh, team, the best in Europe right now. A lot of experience, a lot of quality. There is no even comparison between the two teams. And on top of that, guess what? Salanki left last season. So they don't have like a, a powerhouse, a big name in the team. And look at Arsenal, Kai Harvard, Declan Rice, Raheem Sterling. Mikel Merino, Trossard, Thomas Pari, Calafiori, Magalesh, Ben White, Saliba, David Raya. This is a Champions League team here. So I don't want to hear any kind of excuse or oh, because we uh, Saka was missing, that we lost. I don't want to hear any kind of conspiracy theory because Arsenal still Arsenal. If you look at their bench... All right? They still have Kirill, Zinchenko, Georgino Frelo, Lewis Kelly, Nwari, Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Martinelli, all of them from the bench. So uh, I don't want to hear any excuse here. Let's just be honest and sometimes take the L and move on. It's an absolute disgrace. We continue, my friend. Some details about this game here. Let's go to statistics. It's understandable. But look at that. Even 10 against 11 for the majority of the game, Arsenal still got 51.6% possession. Wow. Impressive. Shot on target, 4 for Bournemouth, only 1 for Arsenal. But you can understand that they killed one position to try to play and get a result. So don't pay too much attention here because it was uh, it was kind of not fair, you know, 10 against 11. Shot all together, 13 for Bournemouth, 6 only for Arsenal. In terms of card, yellow card, 1 apiece. And red card, of course, 1 for Arsenal and 0 red card for Bournemouth. Lord have mercy. So, people, let me know what you think about Arsenal. Do you think that they can still do it? Do you think that they, they can still go ahead and win the Premier League? It's getting tougher, though. And Arsenal fans, they have to be a little bit humble because every time they win a game, oh, we're going to win the quadruple. But when things start getting tougher like this, they start you know, getting mad on social media. And tonight, by the way, it's going to be a very, very good show. Uh, IAF TV, because they're going to have a lot of views and uh, a lot of entertainment. Everybody want to wanna go and watch them because that is pure entertainment. So get your popcorn ready and get ready for Arsenal Fans TV. Okay, my people, very, very quickly... Let me just remind you the table temporarily because some teams still need to play on Sunday and Monday. 
Liverpool are still on top with 18 points. Manchester City are second with 17 points. One game in hand they have to play. Like Liverpool have one game in hand. Manchester City one, one game in hand. Arsenal already played eight games. But they're still third. And if Chelsea win... Chelsea... Uh, well, let me see. 14, if they win, they're going to be 17. They might go top. They might be ahead of Arsenal on goal difference because Chelsea got plus eight. If they don't concede any goal and they go away and beat Liverpool like 1-0, they will go top, top of Arsenal by goal difference. So, yeah, watch out. So, Chelsea need to win. It's going to be a very, very tough game, though. Chelsea... Uh, Aston Villa are fourth because they already played eight games. Chelsea still need to play against uh, Liverpool. So 17 points for Aston Villa. Uh, they are fourth. Yeah. And then Brighton, 15 points. Wow. They, they beat uh, Newcastle today. And Chelsea are sixth. So Chelsea need to do something and try to go, uh, to go top four. Tottenham Hotspurs are seventh. Newcastle United are ninth, Fulham, no, Newcastle are eighth, Fulham are ninth, Bournemouth are tenth, Manchester United are 11th, Nottingham Forest are 12th, Brentford are 13th, Leicester City are 14th, West Ham United are 15th, Everton are 16th, Ipswich Town 17, Crystal Palace 18th, Wolves 19th, and Southampton 20th. One more time, I will remind you, this table is temporarily because Chelsea and other teams need to play on Sunday and Monday.